it's um, it, it's really a reflection of the fact that um, ever since uh, Boeing had a couple of crashes, um, which were a design issue, uh, a system design issue, in 2018 and 2019 of of its um, latest version of the Boeing 737 Max. Ever since then, Boeing has lost the trust of or lost some trust of the of the public's trust and i think the trust of some of the people inside it so that's the background to what we're looking at um however what we're looking at here is is um a, a, a uh, an employee who's looking at manufacturing techniques um, uh, regarding, uh, well, for one example, uh, jo joining different sections of a fuselage. Fuselages ideally would be made all in one piece, so there would be no joins, um, and and that would be lovely. But it's it, it's not possible that way. Whether the whether the engineering is uh, of a Boeing triple seven, which is a metal fuselage, or the Boeing seven eight seven, which is what most of the argument is about, which is a, a composite, a plastic fuselage. Um, at these joins, um, Boeing says uh, the joins are highly tested and, and can take all the, all the um, uh, stress that's thrown at them under normal flying conditions. And the whistleblower says he's worried about the fact that there is a built-in failure waiting to happen with these joins. How significant? Uh, Boeing has suffered a slowdown in business because of recent incidents. How, how significant have, has this slowdown been in light of these uh, damaging uh, cases? Uh, well, all of this mistrust, which is reflected across the industry itself, um, it, it goes into the depths of the Federal Aviation Administration, which is the the safety overseer for the industry, uh, and and you know the the oversight of the FAA itself was found to be wanting um, when the investigations into the two 737 Max crashes happened a few years ago. So the FAA has to prove that it's fit for the job. And Boeing has to prove, having made the bad design decisions that it did with the 737 MAX at the time, um, it's got to prove that it's, it's, meant, it's mended its ways. And, you know, it has to prove that to itself, to you and me as travellers um, on its aeroplanes, um, and to the employees within its own company. So how do you think Boeing can regain this trust? It's going to take a while. Um, I mean, you know, if you think about Boeing and, and what you associated with, let's say, a few years ago, I mean, it was probably the most admired, most trusted uh, engineering company in the world, aerospace engineering company. Um, you know, my own personal sort of belief about, you know, how stuff like this came about is that uh, it lost sight of uh, its engineering um, priorities and um, started concentrating a bit too much on benefit to shareholders it, it and it's not alone in that in the in the big business world but um, no they, they've got to work at this for a long time they really are working hard at it they're trying to change a whole load of the cultures within um, Boeing's, um, you know, manufacturing, um, uh, you know, points at, uh, in Seattle at Everett and, and uh, Renton and, and other sites um, in elsewhere in the Carolinas. Uh, they're trying to get the employees to feed back more of what they see. And if they're not happy with anything they see, uh, to report it back to Boeing. And one of the things that, you know, in, in, a, in a situation where people don't trust each other too well, you won't get the feedback because they, they, anybody who feeds back and says, look, there's, there's something wrong here, I don't like what I see, um, that would be considered career limiting. Now, they're desperately trying to train, uh, change a culture of this type. 
um, and and they are they have been working on it uh, for about three years now. Uh, but in fact, when we had the the Alaskan Airways uh, Boeing 737 um, uh, door plug blowout, um, which didn't hurt anybody, but it was a very very shocking event. When that happened, it, it, it proved that they still haven't got to the destination they're looking at. And I think when the whistleblower is heard um, in, the, in, the, uh, in Congress um, uh, fairly soon, um, I, I think it's going to be a good test of, of, you know, it's going to be a good measure for Boeing of how it's doing, not only in its... Uh, in its trust scale, but also um, in, these allegations have to be looked at seriously. And although Boeing thinks that there are no dangers lurking, and I suspect they're right, they've really got to listen and see if they can do this, these joins in a better way than they're doing them now. Even if they're good enough, maybe they could be even better. Hmm. And meanwhile, how has the travel industry been impacted by what's been happening at Boeing? Well, there's quite a lot of trouble going on out there. Most of it's to do with Boeing, but Airbus has a bit of a problem as well, not specifically with the, the bits of, uh, of the airplanes that it builds, but it's got a, a particular fairly new type of, uh, of engine on quite a lot of its Airbus A320 fleet. Um, and those, um, they're, they're called geared turbofans, and they're very, very efficient engines. But there are a new type which, um, uh, which is proving um, a bit unreliable in, in, in service. And they, the designers, Pratt & Whitney, are, are having to work on that. So that has grounded quite a lot of, of the, uh, the A320 series that are, are engined with that type of engine. So that has mess things up for the uh, and lots of flight cancellations have taken place over that issue um, and and Boeing of course has had to in order to up its standards and and take care of the Federal Aviation Administration's concern it's had to slow down its production and delivery rate to make sure that all of the checks that it's doing and the work that it's doing to up its standards um, and its uh, surveillance standards um, are really working. And just finally, David, if we could summarise, what are we expected to come out of this hearing? What happens next? And what do you think Boeing could possibly learn from it? Well, I, I think that um, the, the concerns of the whistleblower are, are you know, it definitely um, firmly believed uh, that he believes that things could be better than they are. Boeing is saying, yeah, maybe, 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 but, but actually they're good enough. They're, they're, they're perfectly safe. All the testing we've done, and they have done an awful lot of testing, uh, says that, that these joints, and that, that's the main example of what he's complaining about, um, uh, you know, are, are quite good enough and the public is, is not at risk. But this is going to be, I think, um, quite a battle on the road to the rehabilitation of trust in Boeing itself. Well, David Learmount, it's great to get your views on that. Thanks so much for joining us on The World. Thanks, Yvonne.